Uh, hello guys uh, so the dates of uh, document verification and again online registration for cap down you know as far as ct uh, 2018 is concerned is out so uh, i'm going to discuss uh, not about the cap down but uh, how to fill that online form the steps after that uh, and all those things fair enough so let's straight away get on with this now uh, the dates are already out and uh, you have to go on this website so so i'll be discussing it step by step right so let's see so step one is go on this website remember it's see obviously when you go on dt maharashtra also you can click on mb18 you'll get it but this is the direct link click on this website and then go on the next page so what i did was i have actually taken you know screenshot of those pages and i put it here so it it will be easier for you to follow the process so go on this click on this so it will open something like this there is something on new registration so you will have to click on this new registration guys now please understand it is important why see people who already appear for ct they also have to do this new registration remember this right so pura ek naya registration process hoga yahan pe remember people who appeared for ct don't have to pay anything now kuch alag se payment nahi karna hai that's it ठीक है ना व्हाट ऑल डॉक्यूमेंट्स विल बी रिक्वायर्ड कब कौन से सर्टिफिकेट का क्या जरूरत होगा मैं विद स्टेप बताते जाऊंगा आपको ठीक है सो लेट्स सी नाउ व्हेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस न्यू रजिस्ट्रेशन विल बी यू विल गेट अ स्क्रीन लाइक दिस नाउ व्हिच मींस अभी भी दे आर नॉट आस्किंग फॉर योर सीटी रजिस्ट्रेशन डिटेल्स व्हिच यू मस्ट हैव गॉट व्हेन यू अपीयर्ड फॉर एग्जामिनेशन जब आपने सीटी एग्जाम का फॉर्म भरा था राइट सो यू हैव टू गिव योर नेम ईमेल आईडी mobile number and password now few things important here please make sure mobile is right in front of you at that point of time because these guys as soon as you um, fill all this and register right when you do this aap register pe jab click karoge they'll send an otp right so you know it will be required immediately so after this they'll ask you to put an otp so preferably uh keep the same email id mobile number you know which you must have entered uh, while filling ct ka form if not even uh, some something else will also do right uh now for password yes so see what i've done here is all those important information wherein people can do mistake i've written here so yes password has to be 7 to 15 characters one upper case one lower case one special character right and one numeric value will be required so be prepared so if you don't do all this yes yeah, akus to aa jayega password has to be between this and that so you might not be able to see it here but this, that is why i have specifically written it here so make sure your password is like this and please write that password somewhere please write that password somewhere remember remember it okay now once you do that once you do that it will generate a user id or application id for you guys right an application id will be generated right which could be different from what uh, during your cet when you appeared for examination what must have been generated it could be different right so this is your id now after this please either write this id somewhere or the number which you have used right in in the in this with the number which you must have used here on the same number you will get the otp and on the same number this id will also be messaged this application id to nahi bhi likha to chal jayega but that is your choice kuch fark nahi padega right but still write it and on on your mobile also you will receive it as a message so both the things are there remember the password then you have to click here on login aap login pe jab click karoge तो लॉग इन पे जब आप क्लिक करोगे देन इट विल आस्क यू फॉर योर एप्लीकेशन आईडी एंड पासवर्ड सो दिस इज योर एप्लीकेशन आईडी जो आपको भरना है एंड द पासवर्ड राइट विच वॉज विच इज वॉट यूर पुट हियर राइट नाउ वंस यू डू दैट स्टेप नंबर थ्री यू लीड समवेर हियर नाउ ट्रस्ट मी सीटी एस डन ए वेरी वेरी गुड जॉब दे मेंशन द होल प्रोसेस हियर सो आई जस्ट रन यू थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस right i'll walk you through the process in fact so uh this we have already done registration login you have already done that is what we did now then type of candidature details wagera you can pause the video see what is written here right 
now let's let's so whatever is important is go, is what i'm going to get you through yeah so uh, after putting this they will uh, the, the there will be a question whether you have appeared for maharashtra ct exam or you have not appeared right so if you write yes then it will ask you what is your mn whatever ct registration number you had your roll number and your registration number so make sure uh, you have your roll number or registration number handy with you now if you write no it will ask you your which other exam you have appeared let's say you write no for that also get out that's it which means if you want to participate in cap round of maharashtra colleges via cet or whatever other exam some examination you must have appeared for as simple as it gets right so now uh, I did not go for let's say CET. I have seen CAT also. Look at this. What it does is so as soon as you put let's say you have appeared for CAT, it will ask you your percentile, your score, your roll number in CAT, and all those things. And I put some random numbers, right? And trust me, it accepted. So you can write anything. The percentile, this, that, all accept. Kar sakta hai. Means it will move forward. No issues. But the point is, please don't do that because whatever you are going to put here. in this form is going to be checked at facilitation center which is what i am going to discuss so in this video itself right so if you write no for cet and you say that you you appeared for some other exam make sure you write your correct details it's going to be at it's going to be checked check okay? now after this yeah then it goes to once you fill in this information yes you have appeared for ct you put in your ct registration number you proceed it will ask you what is your candidature type right so just will give you brief background on this means type a means you are born and brought up in maharashtra and you uh, your education has been done in maharashtra type b basically means it's written here um, father or mother is domiciled in the state of maharashtra but you might not be from maharashtra right but your father and mother are from maharashtra and all those things so this is something which is very specifically written all types are written here so you have to pick one of these right make sure you pick the right one because you know yourself better now based on see the only point of these all types is uh, in lot of college in all colleges there are reservation for various you know uh, those uh, university seats home university and all those things right you can watch a separate video for that mm. so pick pick a type right so here we go and then there is all my jammu and kashmir separate separate thing so i won't waste much time on this you have to pick a type of your candidature once you pick a type then it goes to let's say so i i i had filled maharashtra right so which state you are from right which district you are from this is the kind of from where did you pass your hsc or graduation a couple of questions they will ask you and there will be a drop down and so pick this information nothing nothing really important now comes the most important part here is what about domicile so there are people who are maharashtra candidates who have born brought up in maharashtra and they still you know, they prepare a domicile certificate guys so please understand they very specifically mentioned either of this either domicile or birth certificate or living certificate will be sufficient so it is not necessary ki aapko domicile hona hi hai see blindly people कि किधर से भी होंगे डोमिसाइल बना लो अरे इट इज वेरी क्लियरली रिटर्न इफ योर टाइप योर टाइप बी कैंडिडेट इवन योर लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट विल बी सफिशिएंट और योर बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट सर्टिफिकेट विल बी सफिशिएंट वेरी इट इज मेंशन दैट यू आर फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ स्कूल इन व्हिच इट इज मेंशन दैट यू आर यू वर बोर्न इन महाराष्ट्र इज मोर देन सफिशिएंट सो व्हाई गो फॉर डोमिसाइल ठीक है अगर ये नहीं है तो आपको डोमिसाइल बनवाना पड़ेगा सो डोंट ब्लाइंडली गो फॉर डोमिसाइल बेसिकली दे वांट प्रूव दैट यू वर बोर्न इन महाराष्ट्र that's it and this gives the proof also so why go for domicile right so yes so it is very clearly written if your type a or whatever type b what document is required so make sure that document you have now guys please understand the see you just have to click on this document right you won't have to submit it right now you will have to submit once the full form is filled right we'll talk on that also so this is it you select this next yeah then it will start asking you those questions you know whether you are sc st or whether you are general whether you are disabled candidate right and then again indian nationality you will have to prove your indian nationality based on any of these documents 
so it is i think indian passport birth certificate living certificate any of these document you can go through pick one jo aapke paas hoga obviously uske upar aapko pick karna hai indian nationality ke upar next yeah so so i'll talk about the the dates later now once you're done then it will start asking you you know you from where have you done your graduation graduation marks and all those your address and father and mother and all those details it will ask you which is general information fill all those information then at the end of it you will you will be able to uh, there's a printable format of this application form which will be able to generate so pdf format type aayega jo aap print out lena aapko now please understand at the end of that you know this in this on this document the list of this uh, printable format of the application form which you have filled there is a list of documents which will be written likha hua rahega list of docs now this is the list of docs which you have to upload right agar aap obviously and more or less this is the same list of docs jisko aap click karte ja rahe ho har baar har step pe now this is the list of docs which you will also have to carry so when you go for this your uh, 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 facilitation center aapko sab document utha ke le jaane ki itsa zarurat nahi hai we always advise le jao yaar baki document mein pata nahi wo log kya puch lenge but they have specifically mentioned some seven eight docs wohi leke jao six seven eight docs hai right Now these are the documents जो आपको अपलोड करने हैं सो इट गोट ऑप्शन नंबर वन खुद से अपलोड कर दो इसी वक्त यू फिल द फॉर्म आफ्टर द फॉर्म डिटेल आस्क यू टू सबमिट द डॉक्यूमेंट्स राइट सो जेपेक फॉर्मेट लगाया तो अपलोड कर दो पी डी एफ है तो अपलोड कर लो इट विल एक्सेप्ट मैटर फिनिश्ड अगर आपको लगता है नहीं कन्फ्यूजन है गो टू ए फेसिलिटेशन सेंटर सो वट इज ए वट इज एन एफ सी लॉर्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस एक्रॉस महाराष्ट्र right in fact to some extent lot of normal those commerce colleges also so almost all those colleges are facilitation centers alag se list di hui hai dt website ke upar wo check kar lo you can go to any place which is near to your home basically go to that place and give all these documents right your seat ye jo jo form hoga jo form abhi aapne bhara hoga uska print format plus to that facilitation center you have to give this form plus बेसिकली यू हैव टू गिव वन जेरोक्स कॉपी बेसिकली एक ही जेरोक्स देना हर डॉक्यूमेंट का आई टोल्ड यू फ्यू डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू बी कैरिड राइट एक ही जेरोक्स देना वी ऑलवेज है कि चल दो जेरोक्स लेके चला जाए यार क्या फर्क पड़ेगा दो दो जेरोक्स सबके लेके चले जाओ प्लीज रिमेंबर देर इज नो अटेस्टेशन रिक्वायर्ड नो अटेस्टेशन रिक्वायर्ड दे आर दंस विल अटेस्टेड they will put a stamp on it and give it back to you wo aapko attest karke denge ki wo bhi document rakhne wale nahi hai wo sab document upload already kiye rahenge to ya to document you must have uploaded the documents or you can go to this facilitation center and ask that guy the person who is sitting there to upload the documents wo kar dega kuch problem nahi hai the only reason we want you guys to do it kisi at facilitation center there might be 20 people sitting there so it becomes very difficult matlab aapka time bhi jyada lag jayega usme otherwise trust me it is 10 minutes job jana hai document dikhane wo check karega khatam ho gaya won't take much time so this is the overall process fill this form take the printable copy to write the printable copy itself that document itself will have the list of docs to be carried right carry the photocopy and the original yes i forgot that please remember whatever documents are mentioned to be carried उनका ओरिजिनल लेके जाना है दे चेक ओरिजिनल विद फोटो कॉपी वो सब चेक करेंगे सो द इज द प्रोसेस सी द रीजन ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इज नॉट ऑलमोस्ट द होल प्रोसेस अदर देन द जीडीपीआई इज ऑनलाइन नाउ अदर देन द जीडीपीआई इन ऑल एमबीए कॉलेज विद इट इज कैट विद इट इज एनमेट वगैरह इट्स ऑल ऑनलाइन सो सीईटी में दिस इज द ओनली प्रोसेस वेर इन देयर इज सम फिजिकल इंटरेक्शन दैट इज you know there is some physical movement basically otherwise aap sab online hi karte ho so i made this video so that there is no confusion right now next uh now once you are done with this this won't take more than 2 minutes for me i'll just give you the dates here so this we have already discussed and it's only up to 5 pm preferably go on weekdays afternoon it will be easier trust me next will be they will disc, they will disc, uh, they will uh, provide video with the provisional merit list if you have any grievances go through this right these two dates uh, you can uh, put your grievances 
final merit list will be out on 26 June. So see all this is written. So nothing much for me to explain. Mm -hmm. So this is the date on which your final merit list will be out. Now next is yeah. Now this is where they will declare provisional category wise seats. So which college has got what number of seats for cap round one will be mentioned. Right. So it will come out on the website and your cap round one will start here. So on this day you can see how many seats in which college are available and this is where you will have to fill that cap round form. Now cap round form there is a separate video for that you can watch that video. Right with a big process a slide and float and all those options are discussed in there this video is specifically only for the dates and the process for registration right yeah displays your provisional merit list so the over so this is so once cap round one is over cap round two cap round three cap round all this will go until july end so all those last week of july all these things will go so nothing really special about these dates you can go through that yes the online process was important which i wanted to discuss fair enough that's it guys thank you i hope it helps that's it